What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School Fishing. Class is in session. It's new knife day. I got some new knives. This just came in from Smoky Mountain Knife Works? Chicago Knife Works? I don't know. I've got more than one box. We're going to open one of them today. I know that in one of these boxes is that new case, Purple Barnwood Barlow. So, let's flip this camera around, take a look, unbox this bad boy. I'll give you my first impressions. When you've got too many boxes, you can't even remember who it's from. That's when you know you've got too many knives. So, let's open this bad boy up, see what we got. All right, so we got a Marbles Barlow in that box. We got a Rough Rider Barlow, but that's not what I want to look at today. I've been waiting for this one from Case. We got 9713 Purple Bone, Purple Bone Board Jig Barlow. Say that three times fast. Manufacture date, 9-7-23. Comes wrapped in this acid-free paper. And there we go, boys and girls. I've been waiting on that. That is the Purple Barn Board Barlow. I love Barlow's. It's one of my favorite patterns. It probably is my favorite pattern of all. And I typically like Case knives. Not always, because I do get upset with Case about their fit and finish sometimes. I know that they say their knives are user knives. They are not collector knives. But eh, I know I'm probably going to make some people mad. There's a lot of Case enthusiasts out there. I'm not bad mouthing Case. I'm just saying that I wish their fit and finish was better, um, you know. So anyway, let's take a look at this. So we've got that purple barn board, it looks great. We've got the Batman shield, the bat logo here. Um, we've got this nice nickel silver bar, uh, bolster, nice big bolster. It's a two bladed Barlow. Both blades are perfectly centered. Fit and finish on here is excellent. I don't see any gapping whatsoever. So I am extremely happy about this. Pull on that is a, uh, it's about a five. Nice and smooth walk on that. Very snappy. We've got this nice mirror, poli mirror polished blade that if you guys have any mirror polished knives you know is a fingerprint magnet case XX etched on the tang with eight dots. Nice half stop. Walk is very smooth. Talk is very nice. We've got the nail nick pulls. So we've got a nice pin blade on here. Tang on this one says USA 62009SS for stainless steel. Very smooth walk. Very nice talk. Super snappy. Overall length is 5.71 inches. Blade length, 2.32 inches. Close length, three point, we'll call it 3.2 inches. I've been waiting for this one to come in the mail. I've seen all my boys in the knife community showing theirs off and mine is finally here. I'm super excited about this. And I just got this that I did my Thankful Thursday for um, from Randy's WSG. He sent me this slip, which I have been crinkling a little bit to try to distress it. And boom, boom. This is my Barlow slip. Um, I've got some purple paracord, some purple 550 cord. So I'm gonna put a little lanyard or a little fob on there. And that is gonna be for my case, 
purple barn board Barlow. That is perfect. It worked out great. I'm glad he sent that Barlow style slip. So beautiful piece right there. Excellent fit and finish. Excellent walk and talk. Good color on there. Nice rich purple color that really comes through. Sometimes in the pictures of these you can't see that that good purple color but this looks really good. Another one from this series that I really like is the purple barn board copper lock and every time I go to get it I end up getting something else um, but now that I see the fit and finish of this one I mean it's perfect I've got no gapping springs are flush um, now that I see the fit and finish on this one I might go ahead and pull the trigger on that copper lock really happy with this as always I appreciate you guys for watching I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up I appreciate you dropping me a comment I enjoy interacting with you in the comments let me know what you think of this knife let me know what you think of case knives uh, let me know what you think of the Barlow pattern. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.